Hi, it's Candy from The Candy Show. Welcome back to my channel for Max Temperaturizing Tutorial Number 2. In this tutorial, I'm going to continue to use the Bare My Soul palette, but I am switching out the lip products and I'm using the eye palette in a bit of a different way. I'm adding in the glitter, one of the glitters that came with the collection, and I'm changing up the lip products. This time I'll be using the Sheer Seduction Lipstick and the lip gloss in soft serenade so if you want to see how i got this look then just keep on watching okay so i got started with using a little bit of benefits professional as a primer then i used my mac face and body the reason i'm using this is because i have a gig tonight and it's going to be probably super hot and sweaty and water-based foundations really hold up much better when you think you're going to be sweating like a dog and i sweat on stage as it is so i imagine i'll sweat hardcore in the heat tonight i did a little bit of concealing not under my eyes though i'm saving that till after because we're using dark shadows i did some concealing on the rest of my face with my benefit erase paste and then i set my foundation using my viziora um, face powder now I'm going to start priming my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot and this is in the color Soft Ochre and I'm just going to use my fingers to go in and put a layer of that all over my eyelids. Now I'm going to use another item from the MAC Temperature Rising collection uh, as a base on the eye and that is the MAC Life's Luxury Power Chrome Eye Pencil. So this came with the collection. There were a couple of them. I got the darkest one which is Life's Luxury. And I'm going to just get that on my lower lid. To buff that out and work it in, you can use your finger if you like. I have small eyes and big fingers, so I find it difficult to use my fingers. I'm going to use a concealer brush. This is the Sigma F70 concealer brush, just to make sure that that's a nice even coat and that it's smoothed out around the edges. And unlike the, you know, let's say the NYX Jumbo Pencils, this is one of those pencils that once it sets up, it sets up. It's going to stay for the night. Now I'm going to take a flat fluffy brush. The one I'm using is the Sigma E55. And I'm going to go in with that dark brown and lay that down on the outer half of my eyelid. I'm just going to flip that brush over and use the back of the brush and go in with this beautiful gold and I'm going to put that on the inner half of my eye over the top of that brown base that's already there. And I'm going to start by tapping and then blending. So once you have that blended fairly well, go in with this lighter color, this beige and a big fluffy brush. I'm using the E40. Get a little on the tip of your brush and then just blend out your crease a bit just so there's no harsh lines. Now I'm going to take a little bit of that MAC pencil that we used as a base and ever so carefully I'm just going to put a little of that along my lower lash line, not in the water line, just on the lash line. Then you want to take a pencil brush, I'm using the Sigma E30 and grab that light color that you just used to um, blend out your crease and start with a little bit of that on the inner half of your eye on the lower lash line that is. Grab some of that dark brown from the palette and work it on the outer half. Uh, now for the really fun part. This collection also came with a couple of glitters one of them was this one, which is called Reflex Antique Gold. Now, this isn't the one that came with the collection. The one that came with the collection had a brown top, just like the others. But I already had this color, and it's in the regular packaging. I'm not going to use any glitter base because I don't want this to be too thick. But I am going to take my Sephora Glitter Applicator and just touch it into the top of that glitter. And then touch it on my eyelid. And I'm going to start on the inner corner over that gold that I already placed there and then I'm just fading it out over the brown so just using what's left on my applicator putting some glitter on the brown 
so that from far away you still see the dark to light gradation, but up close there is glitter throughout the whole lid. I like color up under my brow. I'm using a color that's not part of this collection. It is peach beige from Sephora and it's just a nice shimmery beige and I'm just going to work that up right under my lid. Sorry, under my brows. I haven't done my brows yet. Just to give some highlight up there. And now I'm going to line my upper lash line and I'm going to use my Geisha Ink Black Liquid Liner. And although it might be hard to see on this camera, I did wing that liner out a bit. Now I'm just going to clean up under my eyes. This is why I like to wait to do the under eye concealer. But I'm using dark colors and gl So I'm just going to take my Sigma F70 concealer brush with a little of that Benefit Erase paste. Now I'm going to go in with Benefit's Powder Flash to set that. And I'm just using one of these little free blender brushes that Sigma sent me. It's E25 blending brush. It's, you know, they always give you a gift with purchase if you spend so much. This is one of my gifts with purchase. Okay, rock and rollers, I am going to now um, curl my lashes with my Tarte Lash Curler. I'm going to put on my Lump Crusher, you're used to that. And I'm going to put on my lashes. And today I am using Duo Professional Eyelashes Thin and Wispy D12. And I'm going to use the little Duo glue that comes with it. These lashes are very cool, they're very spiky. Um, and because it's a gig tonight, I want the eyes to be a little bit more pronounced. I don't usually use the glue that comes in these packets, but where this is duo lashes and this is actual duo glue, I'm definitely going to use it. So I'm going to do that off camera and I shall be right back. Okay, I'm back. My lashes are on. I also uh, took my Milani Eyebrow Brow Fix Kit and I did my brows with it and then I also used the highlight color in the kit to just highlight the inner corners of my eyes. And then on my lower waterline, I used my Tarte Emphasize um, pencil, which is this really cool kind of peachy beige pencil. It makes your eyes look much bigger when you line your waterline with them. But not it's not as harsh as white. I use white a lot, but this one is cool too. And now I'm going to get on to bronzing. I'm going to use this beautiful bronzer from the collection called Sun Dip. And I'm going to use my Sigma F50 put it on with. First of all, coming up under my cheekbones. Looks a little harsh in this light, but I'll blend that all in. On my double chin. I like to get a little on my nose. It is summer. Up around my forehead. You'll notice I go more on the top of my forehead than on my temples. You know, most people make the E and the three. My forehead, if you look, my forehead gets very narrow. It's high and narrow. So the last thing I want to do is put bronzer here, making it even more narrow. So instead, I just try to shorten it a bit by putting the bronzer where the sun would naturally hit me anyway at the top of my head. And then I don't tend to put it here on my temples. I will sometimes put blush in there though. For blush, I'm going to use the same blush that I use in look, num in look number one, which is the Ripe for Love blush that comes with the collection, a really pretty peachy coral. And I'm going to use my Sigma F40 brush to put that on. And blending it back with the bronzer. Again, I'm going a bit heavy because I will be on stage under bright lights so you can adjust this to wherever you're wearing the look if you're recreating it. Now I'm going to use the strobe liquid lotion that came with this collection in the color Golden Elixir. And I'm just going to put a little bit of it on my MAC palette and use my fingers to apply it on the high planes of my face. So up here. And now on to lipstick. I am not going to use a lip liner. I'm going to use a lipstick that came with the collection. This one is called, this is another one of the Dazzle lipsticks and it's called Sheer Seduction. And I'm going to apply it right from the tube. First I'm going to just dab off some of the moisturizer I had on. Another just really super beautiful, really shimmery color. And look at my teeth. 
These so far, both of these uh, temperature rising lipsticks that I've tried make your teeth look nice and white, which I love. Because sometimes like a coral will come out and be really hot for the summer and you put it on and suddenly your teeth look like so yellow. It looks like you've been smoking three packs of export green that day. Um, but these are really, really nice in terms of making your teeth look white. On top of that, I am going to put the lip gloss in Soft Serenade that also came with the collection. Just to add a bit of shine. And this particular lip gloss, it looks pretty plain. It looks like just like a plain old kind of pinky beige or peachy beige um, glass. It is the, it, and it's just a lip gloss, it's not a dazzle glass. But when I was um, playing with these colors on the back of my hand last night, I put it on the back of my hand and then I used like a wet one, wet, wet wipe to wipe it off. And then I was working at my computer and I every now and then when I move my hand, I could see the reflection of the glitter flakes um, on my hand, even after I used a wet one to take it off. So um, I think this is gonna look fabulous in the stage lights tonight. Now I am going to use my Kat Von D lock and load to make sure this lasts through the night. And I am still on my summer kick of Fresh Sugar Light Chi perfume, which I'm going to wear with this look. So there it is. That's my final look. Look number two using this Temperature Rising collection from MAC. Um, I added a few things after I left you. I used my Tarte Celebutante. I don't know if they even sell this anymore. I got it in the little tester and I've been using it for quite a while. It's Tarte Celebutante Moisturizing Dry Oil Shimmer Spray. And I just, this doesn't have a spray on it. I just put it on my hands and I always kind of rub it on my decollete area. Makes a nice little shimmer. And then as always, particularly when I have a gig, I am gonna use my Laura Geller Baked Body Frosting and my big Urban Decay uh, Buddha brush and just to get some of that bronzer on my shoulders and to give me a bit of a sun-kissed look. So that is look number two. As I said, I am heading off to a gig so the lashes are a little extreme. The foundation is a little more coverage than I would usually use in a summer look. But I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give me the big old thumbs up. Make sure when you're on Facebook that you zoom over to my page, The Candy Show, and give me a like on The Candy Show as well. And you won't miss a thing that's happening in Candyland. Thanks so much for watching. Please don't drink and drive. Wear a condom every time. And if you're going to have a mar margarita tonight, have one for me.